Hey y'all, I'm just doing a little uh, maintenance on my dryer. Uh, about a week ago, I pulled this hose out and uh, cleaned it out because it was a madhouse of dust and dirt and everything in this little wash area. There was a lot of paper balled up in there from my pockets. I have a habit of leaving stuff in my pockets. I've been working on that. <laughs> and uh it's still been drying not its best so now i'm about to do something a little more uh thorough it's been taking a long time to dry and so i got my vacuum with this nozzle getting all the lint from every area i took the back off it was a lot of lint in there there's a lot of lint around the components in the back of the dryer um Next, I'm going to take this puppy off right here. This is the little lint trap chute. I'm going to unscrew those little screws there and see what needs to be detached down here so all that can come off. And I'm excited because I know my dryer is going to be working perfectly again. Better than it has in a while. So, um, just a little insight that maintenance of your appliances is a good thing keep watching i'll let you know more later i got the back off with uh some wrenches that my wife bought me haha <laughs> this size wrench the uh fourth of an inch is what got all these screws off the back Alright, so I got this off. This is the chute where the lint uh, tray goes. This is the lint tray. You know, that thing you pull out and have to take the lint off. It's recommended that you take it out after every dry, every load. Do we do that as often as we should? No, but we're going to work on it. Now I got it off and then look back here, there's even more dust, dirt and so forth hiding back here. So I got my vacuum to do some sucking of this stuff and then some of the more interesting crevices I have my air pump. Now if you got a motorized one you're probably doing good but I got this double pump air pump where I'm just putting the holes in certain places and blowing stuff out. All right, so the maintenance cleanup continues. Another area that lint catches up is underneath the drum. And I found an opening um, that I can put my nozzle in and suck out all the lint. Um, another way you can do it is take off the top lid, but I was having trouble getting the clip loose on one side and my wife recommended, well, hey, will not you just go in the deep bottom with a flashlight? And since she's always right, I went with it and uh, it's been a great success. I put the light through one little hole so it'll illuminate what's in there and I've just been reaching and getting the lint out like that so after I finish down here I'm gonna put everything back together and I should be complete with maintenance in the dryer uh, our whirlpool dryer so then we can get ready to dry our clothes amen okay this part right here, it was a little tough getting it back in here. How I was successful to do it was I tilted the uh, dryer a little bit and then it slid the top in first and then brought this and then brought this part over this little lip and it's back in there. My, be mindful to put some gloves on because these edges and stuff are sharp. I got nicked a couple of times. I said, hey, I like my fingers. They like me. We've been together a long time. I'm going to protect them. 
and so I put some gloves on as I finish the rest of this but these metal pieces in here are really sharp make sure you put your gloves on and then I'm just gonna put the screws back in here at the bottom and then the two that go on the top and then uh, it uh, should be smooth sailing from there all right well this is how it looks all put back together the back has been reassembled I put all I put the screws back they were a 14 I mean I apologize a fourth of an inch um, you can use a wrench open-ended wrench or you can use a ratchet the ratchet was easier in some places in some places it seemed like the uh, open-ended wrench was better and I put the lint shoot back together with the two screws that are there it's a uh, whirlpool so if you got a whirlpool that looks like this now you know all right well hope that was helpful it was a uh, quite an experience but I'm glad that I did it because now my dryer is gonna be drying like it should and the wife will be happy Get it to get all that gulp out of there. Good job, baby. Hold it, hold it in the camera. Let me see what it looked like. Next time you grab something. Mmm, wow. Good job. Okay, so it was difficult for us to get up the ladder. And so we let our son, because our ladder wasn't tall enough. So it was tall enough for us to boost him up and him to clean it out. And so that's what's going on right now. He has a glove. That's a lie, yeah. He has a glove and a gripper right now. And he's cleaning it out. This is what was in um, the outgoing pipe uh, that, from the uh, dryer on the top of the roof. All this caked up lint and um, stuff. So we got it out. Um, we're going to go double check the inside of the house side to see if anything fell back down in that part. And then our dryer should be drying more efficiently, efficiently after, as a result of that. Alright, so as we expected, we went on the roof and cleaned out um, the access tunnel where all the lint gold went up into the roof and we knocked some of it loose so it fell back down and so we came back inside to double check and clean this out as well. So I simply just detached um, the dryer lint tube from the wall and now I'm going to pull all this out 
uh, get out as much as I can. Make use something to reach up a little bit, see if anything's up in the pathway. And once we do this and check the dryer again, it should be drying better. That's what we hope for. And guys, just a quick add-on I wanted to do. We had a repairman come out and do some maintenance on our refrigerator and our dryer. And we were concerned about the dryer because it was sparking. Well, bottom line is, it was some change that had gotten in the dryer and it was sparking. And so he took the drum completely out. So I just wanted to add these pictures and include it in the clips. And just the most important thing is in dryer department, do not, uh, make sure you clean your pockets out. That is so important. It was sparking beside the outside of the dryer and it was due to change, just simply change. So he was already coming out here for the refrigerator, but do clean your pockets out.